Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, yes, today is the day we begin building our very own da -da 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 one, two, three podcast. Yes, hi everybody. It's your boy Kevin Hines. That's right. K Shines is done. He's gone. It's over. He's he's he was never here. He died and he left the building. He's never coming back. This is Kevin Hines. I've let go of my slight identity crisis to come back to you full force, dropping videos on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, no, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, like clockwork, um, and you know what the channel is, you're on it right now, youtube.com slash Kevin Hines, forget that backslash stuff, I used to say, Olga Safari, thanks for the tip, Log uh, was the one we realized made it all make sense, Logan Paul, for those of you who aren't paying attention. All right, so... This is the set of my brand new podcast. Right now, uh, we are moved into the house. We are in somewhere in Georgia. We're not going to tell you where because you try to find us. Um, and I want to show you a couple of things that will be a part of the podcast. Look, it's Kevin Hines. Hey, Kev, how are you? Good to see you. What's that? Excuse me? I'm sorry, what? Be here tomorrow? Yes, I will. And every day after that. Uh, it's okay to talk. Yes, I'm aware you wear that shirt like almost every day. Uh, what's that? Uh-huh. Yes? No, I know. Thank you. I appreciate that. He said I was handsome. Of course, he's too kind. As well, join the vlog if you haven't already. Subscribe right here and hit that bell. Okay. All right. Now, next. Um, oh, hello, Kevin. Good to see you, too. He's, he's taller over here. That's interesting. Uh, be here tomorrow. Yes, uh, Kev, you told me that right over there. I was aware of that. Thank you very much. Stories save lives. Yes, they do because of sticky memories that go in the back of the brain. Science-based, evidence-informed. It's been proven. All right. Um, oh, Suicide Ripple Effect. Isn't that your film? What's that? It, 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 it was at the Nice International Film Festival 2018. The Louisiana Film Festival 2018, that's where it premiered, in fact, for 500 people, packed house. Uh, IBP, IBFF, International Film Festival 2018. Oh, I love this. International Black Film Festival. What did you say? It won Best Long Documentary there? Fantastic. I had no idea. Oh, and it won, uh, it won Best Long Documentary at Nice. Fantastic as well. Uh, it went to Woodstock International Film Festival. That's lovely. Fantastic. Uh, Mental Health America gave the Mental Health Media Award. Well, thank you, Mental Health America. I'm sorry I couldn't be there. My co-director was the great Greg DeCherry. Hi, Greg. Good to see you. Your hair is still amazing, as are you. Um, recently, people don't know uh, that it won document. Doc mm, mm, uh -huh. We're gonna leave that in. in. Interestingly enough, it won Documentary of the Year at the at BAFTA for the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund Foundation, which was fantastic. Thank you, uh, Nelson Mandela Children's Fund, and all of your relatives that attended. Uh, that was pretty fantastic and amazing. I've said fantastic too many times. That was pretty phenomenal. An ode to Mr. Mandela, a uh, social change artist, um, individual, an icon, uh, the, probably the, one of the greatest this world has ever known. Um, all right, Kev. Uh, this film will save lives by Dr. John Draper, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline Director. John, uh, his hair. <laughs> John Draper, let's talk about John Draper's hair. No, let's talk about Dr. John Draper's hair. We don't want to mess that up. He, he is a doctor. Um, his hair is long. It goes down to about here, and uh, it's fantastic. He has a radio voice like no one I've ever seen. Dr. John Draper and I are going to host a radio show someday. That I promise you. Okay. A uh, powerful, impactful documentary that will move you into action. Brad Beaker, one of the executive directors. Hi, Brad. Brad Beaker is, uh, is the editor of Eat, Pray, Love. Uh, he is the direct, uh, uh, I think he directed, uh, no, it's <laughs> things like Glee, Nip Tuck, American Horror Story, Scream Queens, the list goes on and on. 911. Uh, Brad Beaker is a prolific filmmaker who we only hope to emulate someday. All right, um, good to see you, Kevin. Oh, let's step over here. The Kevin Martin Hines Foundation. Yes, Conquer. Let's talk about that. The Kevin Martin Hines Foundation, found at kmhinesfoundation.org, um, otherwise known as the Hines Foundation, uh, is founded by my wife and I. And the goal is to not reinvent the wheel. Our goal is to... Look at foundations, organizations, companies that are doing it right. We don't want to break the mold. We want to help other people who are doing great works in mental brain, mind, behavior, health, and wellness, bolster them up, 
so they can do more better work. If they're already doing it right, why would we come in and try to compete with them? Competition is the danger zone of suicide prevention and mental health. If we keep competing for dollars, if we keep competing to be better than the next guy, if we keep competing to be the best at mental health, we're going to miss the people that are already doing the work so well, and we're going to be creating a world where more people are dying from mental illness, as opposed to looking at the individuals in mental health who are already doing it right and saying, how can we benefit you? How can we get behind you, bolster you up, help you a little bit, and get your back so that we can all do this together, which was the intended point of all these organizations in the first place, but there are too many of them, which I want to name, but I won't, that are competing for every dollar, uh, monopolizing parts of the field, um, and shutting down a little guy who might be doing a great job at something very specific who we need to help. We at the Kevin Morgan Hines Foundation got your back. All right, and just uh, to point that out one more time, I wanna show you this here, what do I got here? Oh my gosh, yes, look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous, hopefully you can see it all. That is a piece of wood with that on it, all right? And let's talk about conquer. Let's talk about courage to talk about your mental health normalizing the conversation, asking the question, are you suicidal, and do you have a plan? It does not put the thought in their mind, but uh, it does give people permission to talk about their pain. And let's talk about that R right there. Recovery, living proof, all right? Courage, normalize, question, re recovery. Courage, normalize, question, recovery. Um, and that conquer is not just a saying or a slogan. I mean, it stands for conquer your pain, hashtag conquer pain, right there. Uh, but uh, it is also our Conquer keyword for our partnership with the Crisis Text Line. Hi, Nancy Lubin. You're so amazing. We love you out of New York. Um, and and uh, when you text CNQR, if you don't know what I'm saying, when you text CNQR to 741741, the Crisis Text Line, as we're partners with the Crisis Text Line, uh, you will reach them through our particular keyword. Uh, we have had over 450 active rescues from that keyword. Uh, that's potentially 450 lives saved. So if you do that for someone you love, someone you care about, or yourself, you could change uh, and shift the destiny of your own life. Because we want you to be here tomorrow and every day after that. You are valued, you are worthy, you matter. And you're important to us at the Kevin and Margaret Hines Foundation. You're important to me, my wife, everyone that's on our team, the other me, the other me, we want you to be here tomorrow because your life um, has meaning and it's never to be ended by your own hands. Too many people are dying by suicide all over the world. Teenagers at a rate Teenagers at a rate that is uh, monumentous. If you spent money on suicide prevention, true, reputable suicide prevention, reduction of access to lethal means which we know saves lives, Great job, Golden Gate Bridge um, and Bridge Rail Foundation. Uh, if we if we spend enough money, that, you know, if we spent half as much money, we could just took half of the chicken pox budget and put it towards suicide prevention. You would see a, a lessening in recidivism in the psych wards. You would see a lessening in people entering jail cells that really means they belong in recovery, in rehabilitative uh, effort, in rehabilitation in facilities that can get them back out into the world and be productive members of society. If we spent half the money we spent on chicken pox on suicide prevention, not only would we save lives, we would cut government costs immensely. It makes me so upset that we're watching our kids die, our military die, our law enforcement, who we need at defying rates, 33% increase in suicide in the last two years. All right, 33% increase in suicides in the last two years. Our mortality rate has gone down three years in a row because of suicides, the opioid crisis, and alcoholism. So, substance use disorder, right? Um, why wouldn't we put the money where the people are dying most? Why do we keep putting it millions and millions of dollars into causes of death that don't even come close to suicide? Something we all need to think about. 
It affects every man, woman, child, individual across this world. Every socioeconomic background, every ethnic makeup, every age past four years. The youngest person to die in this country was four years old with a crayon note. So I say to all of you watching this vlog, this right here is a call to action. The time is now. Rally your legislators, fight for this cause, and work tirelessly to get them to pull the pin on this lack of funding and give us what we need to save lives. And for all of you mental health organizations, foundations, companies, and individuals fighting for this cause, let's finally be honest about it, delete the competition, add cooperation and collaboration, and commit to life and zero suicides. We will get there. We can. We know it works. We must. All right, guys, family, I want you to work tirelessly to better your brain health. I want you to go to this channel, youtube.com slash Kevin Hines. Go to the playlist section. Go to the Art of Wellness series and learn how you can have 10 new steps to better your brain health today. The Art of Wellness series on the playlist section, 10 steps, 12 videos, three to five minutes each. They're already there waiting for you. And people are saying from far as, and people are saying from as far as Peru, Africa, China, and Japan, that by following these steps for six to nine months, they're dramatically changing their mental well-being. Get it done. All you have is time. And if you work towards it, you will get there. You will thrive. Don't wait for somebody else to balance your brain health. It's up to us. All right, guys, be well. Be here tomorrow. KMHinesFoundation.org. KevinHindsStory.com and SuicideTheRippleEffect.com as well. Um, and you can go to all those websites. And by the way, yes for Suicide The Ripple Effect on Voodoo, Google Play, YouTube, uh, iTunes. Thank you, iTunes. Uh, and, and soon to be everywhere else. Guys, I'll see you soon. Have a great day. That's the vlog. And be here tomorrow one last time. Well, and every day after that. Let's roll. You know, I was thinking that would work, but it's not as cool as let's go, which log uh, coined that phrase. Um, let me, let's roll, no, hmm. Let's, no, let's, no. I can't do it as good as he does. Anyway, never mind, we're gonna cut this out. It's not, it's not it. Oh, get well. Bye, guys. I totally forgot. It's on Amazon. Amazon Prime. Go now. It's also on Google Play! iTunes! Yes! Don't forget Voodoo! Or my personal favorite, YouTube! I had to do it.